The topic of this video is the human skull. Okay. And that is part of the axial skeleton. The axial skeleton is the skull, the vertebral column. And so in this video we talk about the skull. Let's look at the skull from the top, from the superior view. And this bone with yellow in the top, kind of a yellowish brown, that is called the frontal bone. Okay. And then these two green bones that my ring finger is on, those are the, what, the parietal bones. And then this bone in the back, the blue bone, is the occipital bone. So we have the, uh, the frontal bone, the parietal bone, and the occipital bone. Now, this suture, the joints between the two parietal bones, the, 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 these joints between bones in the skull are called sutures. They're not very movable and they're very strong joints. A joint is wherever two bones come together. This is the sagittal suture and the joint between the frontal bone and the two parietal bones is the coronal suture. And then the joint back here between the two parietal bones and the occipital bone is called the lambdoid suture. Okay, so now let's look at the skull from a lateral view. Let's look at a lateral view. Let's see if I can hold it up with one hand to do some pointing with the other. Okay, this bone right here, again, let's review from frontal, parietal, and occipital. Now we see this new bone right here, and this new bone right here is the temp temporal bone, temporal bone. And then if we get up real close here, we'll see, so you gotta get it close, okay. We see three things here, well, I see two of them right now. Where is the style? Boy, the styloid process is, is not showing up very good on this skull. Okay, well, I'll just have to point to where it is. Oh, okay, here I finally, it's hidden behind the mandible here. So let's see if I can get this position sorry about that. yeah now now you can see it okay this is called the mastoid process this right here okay this little pointy one down here is called the styloid process these are all features of the temporal bone and then this opening right here is the external auditory meatus the external auditory meatus uh, goes to goes to your ear, okay, so you can hear. So this new bone here, the brown one, is the temporal bone, okay. This back here is the is the mastoid process. The sharp one, pointy one, is the styloid process, and then this opening is called the external auditory meatus, okay. And so this. This bone right here, this kind of orangey looking bone, that's one of the wings of the sphenoid bone. The sphenoid bone kind of is a central bone that holds the whole skull, uh, the whole skull together. It's built around this bone. That's the sphenoid bone. Now, if we look at this then, we also then have this bone right, right over here, this yellow bone. That's called the zygomatic bone. And the, the, this is called the zygomatic arch. And the zygomatic arch, let me see if I can do it better with my finger. The zygomatic arch is this right here, okay? This is the, um, the process, the zyg zygomatic process of the temporal bone. 
meets with the temporal process of the zygomatic bone to make the zygomatic arch. So let's, let, let's say this one more time, okay? The, this bone right here is the temporal bone, and this bone right here is the zygomatic bone, and two things join to form the zygomatic arch. They are the what? The zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the temporal process of the zygomatic bone makes up the zygomatic arch. Okay, one more thing while we're in the lateral view that we want to know is this joint right here. Remember the joint between two skull bones is called a suture. This is called the squamous suture. This is called the squamous suture. Okay, so I think that's what we want to see from the lateral view. I hope you see the temporal bone, the zygomatic bone, there's the orange one. Then you see the zygomatic arch, and then down here you can see the mastoid process, the styloid process, and the external auditory meatus. Okay, so now let's look at the front of the skull. Okay, and uh, this guy has a uh, has a mandible. I think the skull on the articulated skeleton didn't have a mandible, but this is the mandible, the lower jaw, and then this purplish bone is the maxilla, the maxilla, and then these white bones is the are the uh, are the nasal bones, the nasal bones, and then this is the frontal bone. Okay, and if you look back in there again, I told you that sphenoid bone. See that orange bone back in there? That, that's a continuation. That bone goes from one side to the other and through the middle. See see it on the side? That's the sphenoid bone. See the orange back in there? That's the uh, sphenoid bone. See it over here? It has wings. See? They look like wings. You can look at your textbook at an isolated picture of it. So we got the frontal bone, the nasal bone, the maxilla, the the mandible, okay? And what are, what are this yellow bone? That's the zygomatic bone as seen from the front now, as seen from the front. Okay, and then the, the, the other thing we want to do is look at it from the side and then we'll take a, I mean from the bottom, and then we'll take a look. If you look at it from the bottom, you can see the hard palate and the soft palate. Let's see if I can get around the skull to show you that. Let's see if I can, the, the kind of purple one there, that's the hard palate. And then this one back here is the soft palate, which is just below, here's that sphenoid bone all over the place. See the sphenoid bone, okay. And then we got to see this, the big, this is the occipital bone. You can tell this was asked on a test. This big hole in the bottom of the occipital bone is called the foramen magnum, foramen magnum. And then see this right here and this right here. Let's see if I can get my finger out of the way and show you. See, that's the foramen magnum. The spinal cord comes through that hole. This is the occipital condyle this is the other occipital condyle. Remember what those occipital condyles articulate with? They go down onto the uh, superior articulating facets of the atlas. I'll, I'll say that one more time. Those occipital condyles go onto the first vertebrae, the atlas, and they go on to the superior articulating facets of the of the uh, of the atlas okay so let's review real quick the bones of the skull okay from from the superior view from the top the yellow bone over here is what the frontal bone these are the parietal bones that's the blue one is the occipital bones okay 
The suture here is called the what? The coronal suture. Suture between the two parietal bones is called the sagittal suture. And between the occipital bone and the parietal bone, that's called the lambdoid suture. Lateral side, let's go get lateral view. Okay, then we've got your, excuse me, it feels like it's going to slip out of my hand. This is the temporal bone. This is the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic bone. Zygomatic arch is made up of the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the uh, temporal process is the zygomatic bone. The orange bone is the sphenoid bone. And so now if we turn this just right, Oh, God, I still can't see that styloid process is really hard to see because of that mandible. Let's try it on this side. Whoops. It's hard to hold it. Look in the camera. Uh, well, let's try the other side again. Sorry about that. It's just hard to, let me look down at it, so, yeah, I see it now, so, the spatially impaired A&P teacher, but now I can see it all, got it in the right position finally, now if I can get my pointer up there, that's the mastoid process on the temporal bone, that's the styloid process on the temporal bone, and that's the external auditory meatus. Okay, and then the suture on the side, that's the squamous suture between the parietal bone and the temporal bone. Okay, so now if we look at it from the front, see any similarity? Frontal bone, nasal bone, the, uh, the maxilla, the mandible, and then if you look at the orange wall, uh, the orange bone back in the orbits, that's the, the uh, sphenoid bone. See it on the side, see it back in the orbits, and then see it on the other side. Okay. Um, hope, hope you see the similarity. I think we're related. Okay. This is, I call this guy Scully. <laughs> Okay, let's look a little bit more at the mandible. The mandible goes up here and articulates with the skull, and up there is an articulation. That's a temporomandibular joint. See, it's going from the mandible to the temporal bone. That's called the TMJ joint. Some people have trouble with that. And so that should tell you a little bit about the human skull and the bones in it. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I like A and P students, but don't mess up the models. <laughs>